In Jamaica, the People's National Party continues to charge that the Jamaica Labour Party administration between 2007 and 2011 is to be blamed for the country's current state of affairs. Speaking with the C News team on Tuesday, General Secretary of the JLP, Dr. Horace Chang, says the PNP is merely playing cheap politics. The country is aware that for the last 26 years, the People's National Party has governed the country for 22 and a half years, out of that 26 years. There is no way that we could be held responsible for the, the state of the economy entirely today. And I've been back in office for three years, running four. But the reality is that the Jamaica Labour Party started the clean-up operation, so to speak. It is true we did not meet some of the macroeconomic targets from the IMF, which we initiated. But we had, in fact, restored the country to some of the part of growth. We were at 1.7% in the last year that they took office. The people in the National Party have not been able to achieve that target for a long time. We were on a trajectory that, that was going upwards and have taken the country in the direction of the 5 to 6 percent growth that we require to achieve sustainable levels of development that will generate the kind of jobs that is required by a young graduate throughout the country and maturing population, that is, young individuals coming into adulthood where unemployment is now running way over 25 percent, although aggregate unemployment is more like 14 percent. For the young people, it is extremely high and it's creating a lot of social stress in the, in the society, which is causing some of the social dysfunction we find out there. Mr. Chang notes that the PNP administrations of the past were responsible for the downfalls of the local business sector, which has varying ripple effects on the economy. Much of the overwhelming indebtedness was very interested in putting that collapse. Over 30,000 small to medium sized businesses went bankrupt. And while the banks were rescued, which imposed increased debt on society, much of the productive sector, especially the endemic productive sector, that is, Jamaican entrepreneurial grouping, was almost totally destroyed by the policies or the misguided policies of the People's National Party government. In fact, much of the persistent poverty today is a result of the failing policies of our earlier People's National Party government. Why we now have to initiate that strong policies to ensure that some of the prosperity returns to the economy. And in response to the Prime Minister urging the opposition at leader Andrew Holness to quote, shut up, Dr. Chang notes that she's just pulling at straws because her party's bad governance is coming to light. I think she's being shaken by some of the comments by the leader of the opposition, who has been making some very frank and honest statements, especially on his program, Poverty to Prosperity program on radio once every two weeks. Now, the Prosperity Live session seminars we've been having at town hall meetings, I think the population is responding, as we point out, not only the weaknesses of this government and their failings, but some of the solutions that would bring on board, uh, that would begin to restore a set sustainable growth to the economy, which can generate the kind of employment that our young people require and provide the kind of income to the country that will give us better services.